All right, so before we start, who can raise their hand and tell me what we've been talking about? Chance. Yes, so we've been reading about Sir Gus. Now, what about what sounds we've been talking about? Liza. The schwa. And who can tell me what sound the schwa makes? Jeremy. Uh. Uh. Everybody say, uh. Uh. Okay, good. So, with the schwa sound, okay, um, sometimes we get it confused with what sound? Uh, uh, but what letter? U. 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 Okay. So, uh can be spelled with the U, and the U can make that sound, but also the schwa, and that's why we've talked about those tricky spellings. Okay. So, let's review our U, okay, and how we might can hear um, how the sounds that that makes. So, let's see. So, here's our first spelling pattern. Which is what? O, -U. o and E. Okay. So, Kenny, what is that word? Glove. Glove. So, what sound is that uh, O making? Uh. Uh. Okay. Uh, uh. Um, let's see. Kendra, what's that word? Some. Some. What sound do you hear? Uh. Uh. Okay. What's this spelling? O. Just the O. So let's see, Maria, what's this word? Money. Money, what sound do you hear? U. The U sound, it's making uh, uh, uh. Okay, what about Nevea? what's this word? Sun, what sound do you hear? Okay, it's making what sound? Uh, uh, what letter's making that? The O, yeah, okay. Now what about this spelling pattern? O. O-U, okay, and Leland, what word is that? Cousin. So what two letters are working together to make the uh sound? O U. O U. Okay, and Kendra, what's this word? Southern. Southern. Sutter. Southern. Good. And Liza, what's this one? Young. Young. All right, and our last one. So we can hear that uh spelled like what? Uh, you okay one. so what is this word Anila? sound out with me P uh, 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 B lick public good okay and then let's see Ava what's that word subject, subject. okay so we wanted to review okay the U and making that uh sound because we've got lots of spellings. And remember when we did our whole, we had those tricky little people that were trying to trick us with our spelling, okay? So we, we kind of wanted to review that so that we have that in the back of our mind that it can be spelled that way too. So what is this called? Schwa. Schwa. I'm so proud of y'all. Okay, and we can have that spelled two different ways that we've learned so far with a E, e or a, a. a. Okay, let's, let's see if I can test you guys. Hmm, Jeremy, what is this word? Category. Category. So what letter is making the uh sound there? The E. And let's see, Axel, what is this word? China. China, what letter is making the uh sound? A, is that a sound at the beginning or the end of that word? Um, at the end. Good. Okay. Now, yesterday, we also talked about how the schwa sound can be paired with a what? L. An L. And what sound does that make together? Oh, oh very good. So, we have U-L, like wonderful, helpful and cheerful. cheerful and we have il like pencil evil devil fossil nostril april very good and then we have al like animal metal principal total royal practical technical Ooh, OK, 
Okay, so we had two tricky ones in there. Now, what's this one? Typical. Now, I'm hearing typical and typical. So what sound do we know that a Y can make? I. I. So this would be typical. typical. Okay. Now, what is this one? Signal. Signal, not signal. Okay. I know that you want to say sign because without the A-L, okay, it says sign. But this is actually signal. Okay, what is this one? Signal. Signal. Good job. N S I G is the sig and the N A R L is the null. Okay, good. Is it because that, that Oh. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to practice reading some of these words and then we're going to sort them on our spelling tree. Okay. So, let's see. Four house points. Um, Naomi, will you read me this one? General. General. So, what sound do you hear at the end, Naomi? O. O. And what two letters are making that sound? A L. Good. All right. Let's do our next one. <coughs> um, Leonardo. What's this one? Pencil. Try one more time. Stencil. Okay. And what sound do you hear at the end? O. Okay. And what two letters are making the O sound? I am. Good. All right. Let's do our next one. Ava, what's that one? Hospital. Okay. What sound do you hear at the end? A-L. What sound? Ah. Okay. But what, can you say the sound for me? Ah. Not ah. Ah. Huh? Oh. Say the word again. <laughs> like the one at the end. Uh -oh. Hospital. Okay. And what sound do you hear at the end? Oh. Oh. And what two letters are making that sound? A-L. There we go. We got it. What? <laughs> um, let's see. Eleanor. What's this word? Normal. Normal. What sound do you hear? O. Oh. O. Oh. And what two letters at the end? Good. Ooh. Kendra, what's this Robson? one? Okay, let's try again. Let's let's break it down a little bit. What's the first sound that you see? Sun. Then what comes next? On. Okay. On. No, what did we say? I L. What sound does that make together? What does the schwa say? And ooh, o. So tonsils. Tonsils. Okay. And what sound do you hear the I L make, Kendra? Uh, and you gotta put them put them together. The uh and the L make what together? Huh? Oh, oh. Okay, so tonsils. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, Dean, what's this word? Equal, good. And where do you hear that schwa sound at? At the very end. At the end. end. The, what makes that sound is the A-L. Very good, very good. Um, let's see, Macy, what's this word? Pedal. Pedal, okay. And where do you hear the sound, the schwa sound at? Macy, where do you hear the schwa sound at? Uh-huh. Good. So the A and the L together. Good. Ooh. Um, Leland. Tropical. Tropical. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's get through these quickly. Um, next one. Kenny. Emergency. Emergency. 
Now, remember how we talked about sometimes, depending on how you say words, you may or may not hear the schwa sound in that one? So, emergency, some of you might say the E a little bit different, or you might say emergency and say that uh sound, okay? So, remember, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. Um, let's see, what is this word? Axel. Civil. Yeah, civil. Where do you hear the schwa sound out there? At the end. At the end, and it's working with that L to make what sound? Oh, good job. All right, now I'm going to show you one. I just want you to read it. What's that word, everybody? Several. Several. Local. Amount. Legal. Legal. Rental. Now, this pedal is different than the other pedal. Okay, because the other pedal was with a T. That's like a flower pedal. This is a pedal with a D, like a pedal that you push to make something go. Okay? What about this one? Personal. Personal. Come. Touch. Love. Son. Mother. Nostril. Cousin. Okay. So now we've got to sort these words that we've just practiced reading, okay? So we're just going to do a few um, and see if we can put them on the right tree. And not only do you want them on the correct tree, but you want them in the right place on the tree. Just like our spelling trees and like we've been doing all year, okay, we want to put them in the correct place, okay, based on how they're spelled. Capiche? All right, so let's see here. I am going to start with Liza. Liza, what is this word right here? Touch. Touch. Where should I put that at? Okay, it does have the uh sound. Now, am I going to put it on this tree, this tree, or this tree based on how it's spelled? This one? This one? Okay. And am I going to put it on the O-E, O-U, O, or U? O-U. Very good. Very good. Okay. So we're going to drag that there. It's fancy. Okay. Liza, let's give you five house points. Good job. All right. What about this word, Maria? Civil, and where would I put civil at? I-L. I-L, so this tree and on I-L. Very good. Very good. Maria. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, this word. Hunter, what's this word? Love. Love. Where would I put love? On the O blank E. On the O E. So on this tree with the O E. Very good. Do y'all hear the schwa sound in love? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Some people spell it like L E D. No. <laughs> Okay, what about, trying to get one of all of them, what about this word, Naomi? Legal. Legal, where should I put legal? On the E, on the, yeah. Okay, where? A. A, but think about it, how's it spelled? Uh, E. Uh, Legal. What sound do you hear at the end? Yeah. Not you, well. How is it spelled? A-L. A-L. So where should I put it? On the A-L. With the L, with the A-L. Good. You have to pay really close attention and think about what letters are making that schwa sound. I'll cover it up. Very good. Um, let's see. What about... 
this word. Hmm, 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 hmm. Lean on it. Um, What's the word? Come. Come. And where should I put it at? Okay, and where, which branch? Where it's love. The O? No, come. Yes, because it has the E. Good job. Okay, oh, good. All right, um, hmm. <laughs> What is this word, Leland? Cousin. Cousin. Where should I put that one? L. Is there an ill? Do you hear the L in that? But put a U in. Uh, put it with the O-U. There we go. Good job. <laughs> yes, baby. What does Leonardo mm -hmm. mean? Because it's easier. Just these that have moved. Um, let's see. And who can find one that I would put here? Hmm. Hmm. Emergency. Emergency. Very good. That was your answer. Well, that's good. You got it. Oh, I didn't bring the word with it. Silly, silly. Okay, who can find one that I can put here? Jeremy. Local. No. Why couldn't we use local? That's okay. Why not? It does have an A, but what's it working together to make a sound with at the end? A. It's the A and the L, so that would be here. Well, I need just the A. Liza. Amount. Okay, because amount. Very good. Kind of tricky. All right, and we just have two more spots. I need one for my O spelling. That makes the uh sound. Oh, ha, yeah, I missed that one. Thanks. Um, Maria. Son. Do y'all agree? Yeah. Yeah. That was my answer. Let's do another one. Okay, but right now we're just doing one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh, no. Oh. What? I was going to drag the whole thing. And I need, oh my gosh, I need one for the you. One for just you. Ava. People. No. No, good try. Do we see one? No. Yeah, yeah, I guess I see one. I see one. I see one. Okay, what is it, Dean? Okay, what about UL for the UL sound? Jeremy, you want to try that one, baby? For the UL. Do you see that one anywhere? No. No? Okay. So let's check and see the ones that we got if we got them right. You ready? Yeah. There's that tree. Okay. You feel like we got them? The ones that we have? 
Oh, hold on, it skipped ahead. Where'd it go? I don't know. Hold on, it disappeared. There it is. Sorry. Okay. Good job. All right. So, what I want you to do. Okay, let's talk. All right. Is I want you to open up to 12.1, which is page 67. Sixty-seven. Give me a thumbs up when you're there. Good. Sixty-seven. All right, so we are going to be filling in the blank. Okay, so we want to practice with our schwa and our U, okay, and all those sounds and making sure the spellings and our words are correct. All right, so let's read these words together. All right, so I'm going to point to it and I want you to read it. You ready? Very good. Okay, so we're going to work through this. We're going to do a couple together, and then I want you to do the rest on your own. Are you ready? All right, number one says blank is a country in the far east. This one's kind of tricky. Is a country in the far east. Naomi, what do you think? China. China. Very good. So write that in your blank. Write that in your blank. The number two says blank is a state in our country. Kendra? Tennessee. Tennessee, and we live there. So fill that in your blank. Make sure you have a capital T. Why do you need a capital T? Because it's a proper noun. It's a proper noun. We want to capitalize that. And then I want you to finish the rest on your own. Appetite, mm -hmm. cousin. Mm -hmm. Good. Number four says, "Do not a." Yes. Do not blank a hot stove. Okay. Yeah. Where's touch up? Mm-hmm. You're smart. Oh, man. You are smart. I'm not speaking for me. I'm speaking for everyone. Okay. All right. Number five says, I worked up and blank by chopping wood for the fire. So we have about, love, around, Africa, something, appetite, or touch. No, that's Tennessee. So I worked up, so if I'm out chopping wood and I'm out there for a long time, I'm gonna start, no, I'm gonna work up, the, I'm gonna get hungry, so Appetite, that's what appetite means, so you get hungry. Mm -hmm. 
When you're done, you should be sitting quietly and waiting. Got about three to four more minutes. Ava. Continent. Blank is a continent. Tennessee. Or if you use Tennessee, make sure you mark them out. So, what other proper noun is up there? How do we know something's a proper noun? How do you know something's a proper noun? It's said its name. What does it have at the beginning? A capital letter, so what's the only other one that has a mm -hmm. So what word is that? Seven says, Can you tell me blank your book? So we have about, love, around, or something. Can you tell me blank your book? Are you done? Go right there. Can you tell me love your book? Does that make sense? Can you tell me about your book? That's around. About, love, around, or something. Something? Can you tell me something your book? Does that make sense? about. Let's look blank the room for the lost book. Naomi. Um, uh, we're just going to talk about it. Let's look blank the room for the lost book. So you have love around and something left. Let's look something the room for the lost book. Does that make sense? Let's look around the room. Okay, y'all go on back and we'll look at the last two. Let's really go over it as a group, okay? Good job. All right, let's go over this together. All right, so number three, your aunt's child is your what? Kendra. Cousin. Cousin. Good. Do not blank a hot stove. Macy. Touch. Very good. I worked up and blank by chopping wood for the fire. This one was kind of tricky because you had to know what it meant, too. Leland? Appetite. appetite. What is an appetite? You get what? Hungry. 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 Yeah. All right, number six, blank is a continent. Liza. Africa. Africa, good. Can you tell me blank your book, Jeremy? About. About. Let's look blank the room for the lost book, Maria. Around. Around. I blank to eat snow cream in winter. Naomi. Um, Number nine. Love. love. Good. And I have blank to say about that. Leland. Something. 
something. Very good. Kiss your brain if you got that right. Good job. Proud of y'all. Okay, now we are going to review some grammar skills that we've learned so far this year. Okay, so grammar helps our writing to make sense. Okay, so I want you to turn to the next page, which is 12.2, so 69. Give me a thumbs up when you're there. Okay, let me get you another one. All right, so the first part says write the following correctly. Dr. John Smith. What do I need to do first to that to make it correct? Who knows? Hmm. Vern, what's something I need to do? Yes, yeah, so I have to capitalize doctor. Why do I need to capitalize that? We were just talking about it. It is a noun. What kind of noun, everybody? Proper. Okay, and it's the beginning of the sentence, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have doctor, we capitalize that. What else? I need to do something else to doctor though. It's still missing something. Leland. A period. A period because it's an abbreviation for the word doctor, okay? Huh. All right, John Smith, what else do we need to do? Maria. Capitalize the J. And what about Smith? Can't leave that out. Axel? That's capitalize the S. Yes, capitalize that too. So, who remembers what this right here is called, though? <laughs> well, yeah, but what's it called? Proper noun. No, well, yes, it's a proper noun. No, it's a title. Everybody say title. So now you heard me. So is Miss Reeves, is Miss a title? Yes. yes that's kind of what, I've, what I'm called, okay? I'm Miss, okay? All right, we got that one. Oh, let's get it back together. Okay, oh, man. We have a date. What? New Year's Eve is on December 31st. 2016. We got a lot to do to this to fix it. Let's see, and I'm I'm gonna call on people who are sitting quietly with their hand raised because that lets me know that they want to answer and they're not yelling at me. Um, Macy, what do I need to do first? Okay, you do need a comma after the 31st, good. Okay, what else do I need to do here? Maria. Capitalize the, the N in new. Okay, what else, Hunter? Um, in years, between the R and the S needs to be an apostrophe. Very good. What else, Hunter, though, do I need to do to years? Um, you, you need to capitalize the Y. Very good. Naomi, what else do I need to do? I need to capitalize December. I need to capitalize December. Okay. What else, Jeremy? We already said we have a comma there. Okay, what else do I need to capitalize? Leland? Eve. Eve. New Year's Eve is on. What else do I need to do? Jeremy? Yes. So 
since that's a sentence, what do I need at the end? Period. A period. Okay, just put it up at the top. Put it with the sentence. You can just correct it on that. That's fine. So we don't have to write it? Huh? No, he ran out of room. I was just telling him to put it up there. Yeah, you need to be rewriting it. Put it beside right here. All right, next one. Are you ready to go? What do I need to do here? Macy. What? Right, that's where we put our apostrophe. Okay, are you ready to go? What do I need to do to fix this? Liza. Capitalize the A and R. Are you ready to Go. What else do I need? Leland. Capitalize R. This? The word R? We did no. that. Uh, no, it's not a proper noun that's in the middle of the sentence, so we wouldn't want to capitalize that one. Good try. Chance? Um, you can capitalize the, um, the A and ready. Capitalize this A? No, we don't want to capitalize something in the middle of a word. Uh, Good try. Eleanor? Period. Do I need a period here? Yeah. No. 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 No question mark. A question mark. No. Why would I need a question mark there, Cause Dean? Because they're, they're asking you where you want to go. Yeah. Oh, ready, yes, they're asking a question. Good job. Okay. All right, I want you to try number four and five on your own, okay? And then we will go over those together in just a minute. So this one says, is Miss Betty White your mother? And five says, Sam's house is on High Street in New York City. <laughs> yes. She's famous. She was famous. She was Let's get back on task. What? Ava. <laughs> make sure you're make, making your corrections. All right, is Miss Betty White your mother? What's the first thing I need to do to this? Ava. Um, you um, capitalize the I. Capitalize the I. And is. Okay, Jeremy. Good. Is there something else I need to do before that too though? Liza? Good. That's her title, so we want to capitalize the miss and put a period. And then Betty White. And there's only one more thing left. One more. Nevaeh. A question mark. Good, because that is asking a question. Good job. All right, let's look at five. Sam's house is on High Street in New York City. What's the first thing I need to do? Hunter, what'd you do first? Uh, um, the first thing I do is um, capitalize um, S for Sam's. Okay. Is there anything else I need to do with Sam's? <coughs> Jeremy? Where? Right after M and before S. Why? Because it's Sam's house. Because it's not. It's, it's, there's it's, not it's, 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 it
just said Sam's house with no apostrophe, it would think there's more than one Sam. Jeremy, you just made my whole day. I'm giving you 10 house points for that answer. Very good. Okay, so Sam's house, so it's his house, it's Sam's, so we want to make sure we have that apostrophe. And we talked about how important that is. Okay, it could be multiple Sam's if we don't have that apostrophe. Okay, pretty sure Sam wants everybody to know it's his house. Okay, so is on, what do I need to do next? Vern, what do you think? Very good, Vern. Very good. Yes. Okay, so we capitalize that. What else? Naomi. Capitalize New York City. Okay, there's still one more thing in between. What else? Chance? Well, now it's not a slash, it's an apostrophe. Can you say apostrophe? apostrophe? Apostrophe. And we have that here. So good job. What else do we need to capitalize, though, before we get to New York City? Hunter? Um, we need to capitalize street. With good, because it's a street. That's a proper noun. And then we said in New York City. What do we need at the end, everybody? A period. Period. Okay. We made it through that. Yeah. Now we've got to do the next part. Yeah. All right. So we have, it says, write the word that means more than one. Oh, man. I'm excited. I want to see who knows this. So, just in case you're not really sure what that means, let's look at number six. What word does number six say? Man. Man. If I need to rewrite that word to show that there's more than one, which is plural. Everybody say plural. Plural. Okay, more than one. What would that become? Liza. Men. Men. Liza got it. Okay. So six would be what word? Men. Men, because that's more than one man. What would seven be? My word is woman. How would I change woman to show that there's more than one? Eleanor. Women. Women. Do you notice anything that's similar about these two words? Axel. They both have men and they both have the, where the A is supposed Yeah, to be. good. So we've changed um, the men and women just like we would, we would change the man. So we change this to an E, okay? Change it the same way. What, if, what about ladies? Ladies. So lady is like this. That's one lady. What did you do to the end right here? If that's a Y, what do you change that to? I-E-S. So that's a completely different word. So woman changes to women. And lady changes to ladies. So you got that part right, but it's just, it wouldn't, woman wouldn't change to ladies because that's a whole other word. What about ladies? They said multiple ladies. Yeah. They'd be synonyms. Okay. All right. And I want you to do 8, 9, and 10 on your own, and then we will compare and see if we get them right. I'm done. What does number 8 say? Butterfly. Butterfly. How would I change butterfly to show that there's more than one? Macy. Instead of it being B-U-T-T-E-R-F-L-Y on the Yeah, 
yes. So we take that Y and we change it to I E S. Give yourself a pat on the back if you got that one right. Good. All right, number nine. What word is that, everybody? Box. Box. And what would I add to that or change about that to make it show more than one? Chance? You would add an ES. Oh, my goodness. You're right. Give yourself a pat on the back if you got that one. I think later I'm just going to sit it when y'all go to special. I'm just going to sit in here and smile because y'all done such a good job. Just sit in here by myself and smile. All right. No? I'll be happy. All right. And, ooh, oh, oh, oh. This one's tricky. What word is that? Goose. Okay. And then we got to do something to that to show more than one. So what would it be? Dean. Did he get it? Yeah. Yay! Yay! So that becomes what? Geese. Whew, I might pass out. <laughs> All right, flip the page. Let's see. All right, we're almost done, guys. We are almost done. The next one, the next section, says circle the nouns, draw an arrow from the adjective to the noun. Oh, man, this is a lot. And draw a wiggly line under the verb in each sentence. Whew. That's a lot. Okay, so number 11 says, we're going to do this one together because that was a lot of information. Who can read me that sentence? Liza, will you read that, baby? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you because I had some friends that were talking. Can you do that again? The old man walked. The old man walked. All right, so it says I got to circle the nouns. Who can tell me what nouns I should circle? Kendra. Old man. Now wait, would I circle old and man or just one of those? Man. Man, because man is a noun. Okay. Um, and what does that make old then? Naomi. Uh, the verb. Uh, I can old. What does that look like? A verb is an action. So how do you old? <laughs> That's not a verb either. A verb. Oh, I thought you said bald. Age. Okay. <laughs> so old is a what, Axel? Adjective. An adjective. And what is old describing? Man. 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 So we got to draw an arrow from the adjective to the noun. And then our last thing that we have to do is draw a wiggly line under the verb. Where's my verb? Leland, what's my verb in that sentence? <laughs> what's the verb? Walked. Walked. Do y'all agree with walked? Yes. So we got to draw our wiggly line. <laughs> Easy enough. That was just a lot of info. So let's do 12 together and then you're going to do the rest on your own. Um, Ava, will you read me? What is the sentence on number 12? The tiny girl ran. The tiny girl ran. So the first thing I have to do is find my noun. Who can tell me what my noun is? Chance. Girl, I got to circle it. Now I got to find my adjective. Dean. It's tiny. Tiny. Okay, so I'm going to draw my arrow and it's describing the girl. girl. And then what is my verb? What is my verb? Leonardo, what's my verb here? Ran. 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 
Well, good. Um, okay, I want you to do 13 and 14 on your own for the sake of time. We gotta finish this up. That's fine. Okay, okay. Um, what's not? Frog. What is my adjective, Jeremy? 13, what's my adjective? Green. Green. And chance, what is my verb? Jumped. Jumped. Now, what was green describing? The frog. The frog. And the last one, a tall tree fell. Okay, so who can tell me what my noun is? Eleanor, what's my noun there? Okay, a tall tree fell. Stay with me. Tree. Okay, and then what is my adjective? Kendra. Tall. Tall. What's tall describing? Tree. Tree. And Macy, what's my verb? On 14. Fell. Good. All right, last part. Then we're done. We've almost made it. We're almost there. Draw one line. Oh, my favorite. I'm so excited. Draw one line under the what? <coughs> Draw two lines under the what? Predicate. Predicate. Okay. This is your final test to make me just the happiest teacher in the world. All right. Frank and Joe... Ran the marathon. I'm not going to write these. I'm just going to see if you know. Frank and Joe ran the marathon. What is my subject for five house points? Macy, what's my subject? No. Good try. So if it's not that, what must it be? Yeah, Frank and Joe, so I'm underlining that once. Because remember, my subject revolves around my nouns. Okay, it's who or what the sentence is about. So then what must my predicate be in that sentence then, everybody? What's my predicate here? Ran. There you go. Ran the marathon, so I'm underlining that twice. Because that revolves around my what? Predicate. The predicate revolves around my what, though? What does it talk about? Uh, uh, what, they're doing. what they're doing, which is related to the uh, verb. verb. Liza, man, Liza's got her smart pants on. <laughs> pants. All right, good. All right, we're going to do this quick. 17, Lisa ate ice cream and cake. Who can tell me my subject? Naomi. Lisa. Lisa. And what is my predicate? Hunter. Ate ice cream and cake. Oh, yeah. I wish Lisa was Miss Reeves, because that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> All right. Faye and Mike like to swim. What is my subject here, Dean? Faye and Mike. I love that he said, and Mike. Mike didn't want to be forgotten, okay? Because remember, we've talked about how you can have more than one listed there. Okay, so good, Dean. That was good. And then what's my predicate, Jeremy? Very good. All right. Um, Larry and Debbie walked and ran six miles. What is my subject? Maria. Larry and Debbie. Larry and Debbie. Very good. And what is my predicate? Chance. Um, We're on this one. Wouldn't just that's my that's a verb, but what's my predicate? So we said Larry and Debbie was my subject. What would my predicate be? Now we're on this one, baby. What'd you put for number nineteen? Can you see it on there? What would your predicate be? Okay, Leland, what do you think? Walked and ran six miles. Very good. Very good. Do you see it now, Chance? Good. All right. Linda and Ernie will train 
for the swim meet. What is my subject, Leonardo? What is my subject? The last one. Linda and Ernie. Yeah, good. And what is my predicate? Liza. Very good. Yay. Y'all did it. Give yourself.